Okay, welcome back YouTube. Welcome back to Fat Cat Collections. Here today I'm going to review another watch. I just picked up my collection. I ended up selling two of my Venom watches. One was the Venom 2, which I loved, and the other one was the regular Venom in rose tone in black. And you know what? I just didn't wear them all that much. I'm, like I said, gravitating towards gold lately, and I just love the way it looks, love the way I feel when I'm wearing it. And so I went ahead and sold those two watches, made it a wash, and I picked up two watches. One was the Venom Hybrid. Check out my video on that if you missed that. And then also this bad boy right here. Venom is like one of the most amazing watches that Invicta makes. It's probably one of their more earlier watches. It's been around forever, and it was my very first Invicta watch. Of all the ones out there, it was the first one that I saw that I said, I have to try one of those watches. And once I pulled the trigger on the all-silver model, that was it. I was hooked on Invicta, and I had to keep buying them. And I'll continue to keep buying them because I just love the product. Now, I just want to touch base on one more thing. I get a lot of comments, and most of the comments you guys leave are the thousands and thousands of views the 100,000 views every month that you guys watch my videos, the thousands of comments that I get, most of them are all very positive about Invicta. But there has been questions about Invicta quality, and I've left, made a couple videos about quality in my personal experience with Invicta. Again, people will post things all the time and say, oh, what do you think about this brand? One, one gentleman posted a, a comment today, he said, here, let me just click over here. He said, what do you think about, uh, oh man, let me find it, bear with me here, because... I think this is important to bring up before I move forward as, what do you think about Vestal ZR3? I checked out Vestal watches, and you know what? They're a big watch, 52 millimeters, but for $300 for what you get compared to, and I, I can't tell you the number of times I'm just searching all the time for like the next the next thing, you know what I mean? Like another watch that I can be like, ooh, another watch brand. And I thought I had it at one point, Android USA, Unfortunately, now they're Aragon, and I gotta say, I'm just not impressed with their style. Again, maybe that style's, maybe people like the smaller watches across the board. That may be so, and you know what, that's good if that's good for his company, but for me personally, I'll probably never buy one because I just can't rationalize the price for what you're getting. I can't buy watches that when you put them on the wrist, they look like every other watch. Nothing really stands out about those watches, in my personal opinion, okay? And so when you start looking at other watches, like Nixon and Diesel, those are awesome watches too, and I have a Diesel watch, but, you know, when you look at the price point versus what you get, you just, Invicta is just an amazing value for the money, okay? Is it the best watch made? Uh, probably not, you know? For me, it's the best watch made for me. And so without further ado, I just want to talk about this one here. Again, my very first Venom watch that started the ball rolling, or the very first uh, model of Invicta Venom watch. And I, I have it in silver, and I don't have it in gold. And I recently pulled the trigger on this. Now, the, the silver one I got about two years ago, and I have to tell you, I'm blown away by the deals they have right now on Invictus. Um, I'll tell you what I pay for this and where you can get it after I'm done with the video. But my first Venom, uh, Venom watch, again, all stainless steel, I paid $350 for it. And, you know, stainless, certain colors tend to kind of hold their value a little more. Um, with, you know, with that being said, I think that that color is one because most people probably end up getting a silver one first in gold. Uh, but, man, this watch right here, the deal I got it for, I'm just, I'm blown away. And you always pay a premium for full polished watches. So, without me rambling on anymore... This is model number 13874. This is your Invicta Venom watch done in a full mirror polish yellow tone gold with your rose tone full polish bezel and with a few rose tone uh, mirror polish accents on the face. Um, if you haven't seen my video, Invicta Venom Nightmare, this was the first, one of the second watches I picked up. I got such a deal on it that this was, you know, again, you guys watch my videos, you know how much I love the two tone rose and yellow gold. The other one had rose tone down the center. And you can see what that watch looked like, but it was defective. And when you watch that video, I refer to the pins in the side right here. They have changed that design where they don't do that anymore. So now you have a solid, uh, you know, band that's not going to fall apart, okay? And this watch here was the next best, th best thing I could get to that watch because they don't make that other one anymore. And they might come out with it again, but I had to pick this up for the price. Unbelievable deal. And now I have a full polished gold on gold Venom watch in my collection. So a little bit about the watch before I show you what it looks like on the wrist. This is your, uh, again, your Invicta Venom watch. This is done with a 5040D chronograph Swiss uh, quartz movement, 52 millimeters in case diameter, uh, 22 millimeters in case thickness, and then you have 22 six millimeters in band uh, width and eight and a quarter in length, 3,300 feet of water resistance. This watch weighs roughly 15 ounces, close to a pound unsized. First time I got Invicta watch, I put it on my wrist, like I said, I was hooked because you can just feel the meat, the, the heft, 
and the bulk of the watch. It just feels like quality on your wrist. And again, guys, I've had them over two years, no issues. Again, even though I've said this like four times and explain it, people are still like, you, I have one bad one, one bad Invicta where the back is defective on it, whether it's cross-threaded, whatever the reason, it was the most inexpensive Invicta I have was a hundred bucks. It's a, um, a Grand Diver and it's supposed to be water resistant, taking the shower, it fogs up. So I don't get the damn thing wet. I could have sent it back. I didn't feel like it. I bought it for a work watch. Um, sometimes you're going to get a bad one. It does happen, folks. It happens with everything. That was my only bad experience in Invicta, other than having a seller that uh, sold me some watches under false pretenses that were defective. But other than that, you buy new, you buy you know factory brand new with no issues. And uh, I, like I said, I haven't really had any issues with Invicta watch. So I think the quality is great. Uh, what else about the watch? You have your standard screw down function pushers, screw down crown. Remember that the watch is only water resistant to that depth. I mean, who's going to go down that deep? I wouldn't wear this watch diving. It's beautiful, but. Uh, anyway, not not that I dive, but uh, anyway, um, those have to be screwed down for you get that full amount of water resistance, okay? There's the face. You kind of have a starburst pattern, and you have your luminescence on the face and your day of the month window right there, and again, full chronograph, okay? Uh, that's really about it. What's most important is what this bad boy looks like on your wrist. I'm going to go ahead and throw it on now. I have about a 7-inch wrist. I weigh about 170 pounds and I'm about 5 foot 8 inches tall. And that is just a gem of a watch. Now, mirror polish. The only thing with mirror polish, you gotta be a little more careful with it because if you're gonna wear, you know, these other watches that I have that are satin finished gold, I love the way they look too. But mirror polish, I always thought that I would like mirror polish more than anything. And you know what? I'm I'm kind of glad that most of my watches aren't mirror polished because when you wear watches, I wear an Invicta watch every single day, okay? And you know, you you, you you put your hand on the desk sometimes, you know, and you, you can't always, like, be careful. You know, you have a button in your jacket. Sometimes you'll get a little scuff from your jacket button. And, you know, metal on metal is going to, it's, you know, it's going to leave a mark at some point. But with, you know, polished, I mean, you're always going to scuff the bottom of that band unless you just wear it when you're not really going to be, you know, sitting at a desk or, um, you know, so... I don't know. I try to wear non-full polish watches only when I want something a little flashier and I'm not going to be kind of moving around anything that might potentially scratch them, um, such as a, like a jacket with a button on the inside. Um, you know, I've had several polished watches over the years. I generally take care of things, so I always get a few scratches, but not that many for me to be concerned with because these things, you buy to use and you buy to enjoy them. You know, you don't want to leave in a box sitting there collecting dust. You're not going to get any use or enjoyment out of them. So, um, again, enough of that. Let's show you what it looks like on the wrist there. I mean, a full mirror polish watch, you know, whatever color you get, is just, it's absolutely breathtaking. I'm going to get back a little bit so you can see what it looks like at a little bit more of a distance. You see that rose tone bezel, just a slight contrast right there, just gorgeous. Now, what I said I was going to mention. All right, two things. Also, check out my other video where I'm going to refilm this stuff downstairs, where I'm going to leave out the information about, um, you know, the, the movement and stuff like that. Again, that stuff you could all find online. You don't have to hear me confirm it, you know. Uh, but I want to show you what it looks like under a little bit different lighting. Now, the price on this watch. Guys, right now, if you didn't check out my video on the Invicta Venom Hybrid in all gold, I picked that up for 300 bucks. This watch right here, again, full polished gold on gold, I picked up brand new, shipped to my door for $247. Guys, if you are in the market for a watch right now and you ever thought about Venom or gold, pick this up. Click the link in the description or click the link in the upper right hand corner under the card section. It'll either take you to my direct link or take you to Fat Cat Watches where you can find the link. Um, guys, pick this up. I, I mean, this... Between December and right now, there have been some deals on Invicta watches that I have never seen before. Now, maybe it's because they're coming out with a lot, several different models. I mean, there's a couple beautiful watches coming out right now that I have to get my hands on. Right now, the price point, five to $700. Beyond my price point, what I like to spend. Be patient and wait on those ones there. They will come down in price eventually. Um, but again, stuff like this, you know, might not be the hottest seller and if you're but you know that doesn't mean that you know it's not for you like for me I'm I'm happy that maybe this one wasn't the hottest seller because for $247 I've never seen a Venom full polished watch for that price before so guys pick it up 
Check out the links, and when you get it, find me on Facebook, Fat Cat Watches, and drop those wrist shots on there. I'm getting wrist shots every single day. You guys are you guys are making me feel bad. I need to buy more watches now, so I need to step up my game. But uh, man, awesome! Been meeting a lot of really cool people. So thank you so much for watching my channel. Remember, subscribe to the channel if you like the content, and guys, definitely find me on Facebook because, like I said, it's a really easy way to communicate rather than through the comment section on YouTube. But if you want to post a comment on there, it's positive, it's helpful about the watch, the video, or maybe experience you had. By all means, do that as well. And uh, again, thank you so much for watching, and uh, appreciate the love. Over 3,050 subscribers and climbing. I really look forward to the day where I hit 10 grand. So. Uh, Thanks a lot, guys. Have a good one.